Good morning, travelers. Today was the day that I was going to leave and hit the road and start my traveling adventures again. And for those of you that do not know, you are watching Traveling with the Graham Cracker, and I am the Graham Cracker. Welcome. Welcome to my video vlog, I think that's what they call it. Anyway, um, things just didn't work out like they were supposed to. So watch the video and find out what happened. All right, we'll talk to you in a minute. Well, the snow's coming down, but the sun's coming out and the sky is blue. So this is kind of a trip, but uh, yeah, we're still in Williams. Look at this. We were trying to get out of here today, but that wasn't happening. I don't know, this is clear for now, but yeah, I don't know. Things are just not adding up and working right for me to drive this van out of here. I think we'll just stay another day. And Quark does not like his feet cold. He won't come out. And it is cold. <laughs> I am not bundled for the snow. Well, kind of, sort of. Are you going to come out? Or are you going to sit there and freeze? Are you going to sit there and freeze? Okay, go inside. Go in your room. Go inside. Get in there. We'll take your coat off. Get in there. We're going to go inside here for a minute. I was already in driving mode. I had everything ready to go. And uh, the van will not start because the battery posts are wet. And it's probably a good thing. The roads are atrocious. And uh, my dogs are freezing. It's cold in here. This is the heat we're using right now. Um, the last 24 hours have been really interesting. Let me close my door so it can get warm in here and I'll tell you about it. Well, as I said, I was going to uh, close the door so the heat would come on in here and warm it up and then I'll tell you about the last 24 hours. Been very interesting. Okay, last 24 hours, all right. Started out with uh, Quark going to the bathroom in my bed. Woke me up. Not a good feeling to have your dog poop and pee in your bed. So that was at five something in the morning. I had to change my sheets, my blankets, everything off the bed, which fortunately I have a s extra set. That worked. Then a little later on during the day, I needed to go over to my place and button some things up. I needed to go get some propane. Uh, the trooper wasn't functioning quite right, so I enlisted my neighbor to help me go and get the propane. But then the truck started working fine, so I went and uh, over to my house to button up things so that I could leave. Because I knew there was a storm coming in. This storm that we're dealing with right now. I got my place all buttoned up and then I drove on into Valley to go get propane. Well, right as I get to the highway out there, Trooper runs out of gas. That's right about the time the storm started to come in. So I'm stuck out on the highway, gonna walk down to go get the propane because they're gonna close in a few minutes, so I gotta hurry. And a traveler who's a part time snowbird stopped picked me up, gave me a lift, which was absolutely wonderful. Um, they're from Iowa, and a nice couple. Took me down to uh, Raptor Ranch, and that's where we go and get our propane, and I was able to get propane and a gallon of gas to go back, and they gave me a ride back to go put the gas in the car. Well, when I went and I put the gas in the car, the car won't start. So, I had to call Ed, see if he would come out and help me out. So he came out to help me. 
We still didn't get the car started. So we decided to tow it. And uh, we towed it all the way to his house and it is now sitting on his property. It was supposed to go into storage to save it from pack rat infestation. But I think it's going to end up sitting on Ed's property for the season because I'm going to have to crawl under it and undo some things. And it's snowing pretty good out here. And it's going to be wet and muddy and I'm just thinking I just want to leave it there until spring. It's going to be parked anyway. I'll put the lights that uh, my subscriber sent to me under the hood. They've seemed to be working pretty good in the van so I'm going to put them under the hood and hopefully it keeps the rats out. They're really good. Um, they go from complete dark to absolute daylight when anything goes by them so it scares the rats off and they don't they don't tend to like that to make a home very easily so that seems to be working hopefully it'll work for the winter I hope so um, so then I progressed to come over and get ready to uh, have dinner and uh, my stove quit the knob on my stove that I've been heating my home with and cooking my food with broke so propane can't shut it off can't operate it so the stove's broke we're expecting 19 degree wet temperatures tonight and into tomorrow right now it is 33 outside it's a nice day sun's out still snowing but the sun's peeking out occasionally um, solar panels are covered in snow so I'm giving my batteries a little boost here so, um, you know, earlier this week, generator quit and I had to go get a new one. So my stove quit last night and thankfully my neighbors came to the rescue again. And I've got to give a shout out to Ed and Sue again. But they brought me a Coleman stove. I'll show you here. Brought me this stove right here that, uh, it's helping me cook and it's helping me keep me warm. He also brought a sleeping bag. I I have a sleeping bag, but it's out at my property. It's not in the van like it should be. So that's brought us up to the point to where we were going to get out of here before the storm hit. Because I knew it was going to be hit and uh, we were going to have a big problem all day. I got everything done, everything packed up. All I had to do was put the bike in the van, turn the van on, and we could take off. And I turned the van on yesterday and ran it for like 30 minutes and ran perfectly fine. So I go out there to, I hook up the battery because we disconnected because there is a dead short somewhere. Put the key in, nothing. This has happened before, so I know it's because my connections are wet. The snow's on them, they're wet, they're not going to start this van. I don't care what you do, they're not going to start the van. i got to, you know, get out there and dry it up somehow. And uh, I don't have a blow dryer to be able to do that, which would be probably a good investment to get a blow dryer and possibly dry off the battery. I have a heat gun, but that would burn the battery. So anyway, um, I'll put that on my list to get me a small, low amperage blow dryer so I can dry my, motor, my batteries off. So anyway, that's been the last 24 hours, so I decided that uh, God's probably trying to tell me not to drive out of here today. Everything was going wrong, so I'm going to sit and wait the storm out and wait until the sun comes out and it dries up things. And It could be one or two days, it could be a week, but um, I know I'm going to have to get into town sooner or later and buy supplies so one of my vehicles has got to run so that I can go get those supplies and right now neither one of them are running and I just feel like I'm in a helpless situation I have help here which I'm really grateful for but I've called on them so many times but I feel like I'm in a helpless situation where nothing's working and all the backups to my backups to my backups have all failed as well and that's not a very good feeling. So I don't know what God's trying to tell me. I don't know how all this is going to work out. 
But anyway, I just thought I would give you this update. And by the time you get this video, things are probably going to have changed a lot. This has uh, been filmed on November 3rd. And I'm sure this video is not going to come out for like a week or better. So, I mean, things will probably have changed by the time you see this video. So, um, anyway, just uh, keep us in your prayers, would you? Those of you that pray to Jesus Christ, keep us in your prayers. And, um, yeah, I think this season we may need it. So, I don't know. That's what's happened in the last 24 hours. And uh, thanks for coming along with us today. And uh, follow your heart, embrace your dreams, and cherish your life. And um, we'll probably talk to you next time. Oh, one more thing before I go. Uh, I've been watching a series. Um, there's an app out there called The Chosen. If you have not watched that series... And you have not downloaded the app that gives you free access to Season 1 and Season 2. Um, it's a good watch. It's a very good watch. Um, interesting. Uh, um, I binged watched it all. So um, I'm waiting for Season 3 to come out. It's a, it's a pretty good dramatic film. And I'm not going to tell you a thing about it. That's up to you to go look at it. If not, some of you may have already seen it. Some of you may have heard about it. Anyway, I'm going to let you go right here. Um, video is about eight minutes long, and it might be longer after I cut what I got to cut and add what I got to add. So well, subscribers and watchers, a lot of things have changed since the filming of this video. The first thing is, is I left Valley the day after the storm. And the temperatures got down to 12 degrees that night. We were able to stay warm thanks to the little Coleman stove and the terracotta pot situation that I've devised to heat my home. I had a little buddy, uh, but that quit on me about two weeks prior to this video being filmed. Made it down to Quartzsite. I'm down there now and for those of you that have stuck out long enough to watch this video I would like to have a meetup in December it is December now and that date would be the 16th 17th and 18th of December which would be a Friday Saturday and Sunday probably won't be a rock out crazy party like we've had before because I have not asked my good friend Aja to do music. I may ask her. I may not ask her. I don't know. It depends on where she is. I don't want to put pressure on her to change her travel plans for um, an event that she has not planned or scheduled for. But if she's in the area, I'll ask her. So put that on your calendars. That would be the 16th, 17th, and 18th. And that's going to be at the Roadrunner BLM as it's been in the past years. So if you've ever been with us before, that's where it's going to be. Probably have just uh, sit around a fire ring. If you can bring firewood, please bring firewood. Um, be prepared to camp with us, visit with us, talk with us, laugh with us, and have a good time with us. I'd like to have a potluck on the 17th. The 17th will mark seven years of me traveling on the road. It will also mark my 66th year around the sun. So hopefully you can join us there. And the other thing that has changed, which has really been heavy on my heart, and that's why I haven't put out a video, and I will put out another one concerning this as soon as I can. But this video was Jake's last video. Saturday before Thanksgiving, Jake crossed Rainbow Bridge. He was almost 13. He'd be 13 in January. 
Several years ago, as all of you have followed my videos, have seen that his nose got kind of messed up, turned kind of pink, and had scabs on it and such. And that was what they called dog lupus. And Jake slowly lost his ability to breathe and take air in through his nose. He also developed a neurological condition in his spine where his legs quit working. So on the last morning Jake was with me, he went outside to go to the bathroom and uh, fell on the ground. He messed on himself, which he hates the smell of his own potty. So he had an anxiety attack and he couldn't catch his air. And uh, I had to take him to the vet in Blythe. So Jake passed over into Rainbow Bridge and Quark and I have been just kind of hanging out here and kind of going through the motions, you know. Um, after I came back from the vet and I brought Jake's collar and leash in, Quark knew and came over and licked me terribly and Quark's been sleeping on Jake's blanket ever since. But Jake will be missed. He was a mobility assistance dog and a lot of you didn't know that. I used to not be able to walk and Jake helped me walk. He helped me upstairs, he helped me downstairs. Jake knew over 200 different commands. He could turn on lights, turn off lights, open and close the refrigerator, get things out, bring them to me and take them back and put them away. He was instrumental in getting me to go to Bergen University of Canine Studies and get a degree in assistance dog education and starting a business called Triple M Assistance Dogs. I left Triple M Assistance Dogs in 2015 and hit the road. And since then, Jake has been my partner. He's been my partner for 12 years, for 24-7, with me every single day until he retired at 10 years old. One of the saddest days I had was retiring his working harness. Jake is going to be missed. He's going to be missed greatly. He was a very good companion. He knew he was a very good working dog, and I loved him dearly. Right now we have Quark, and uh, Quark has uh, got some tall shoes to fill, or legs, whatever you want to call it. But I'm training Quark to take over what Jake did, only in a different capacity. Quark will not be able to help me walk. He's too tiny. He's only six pounds. But Quark will be helping me with the medical issues I do have to alert me to when I need to pull over off the road and not drive anymore because my body will shut down. So you'll see Quark a lot more. You'll see Quark in a different light than just a pet. He was Jake's guardian and now his job is going to be changed. But I thank you for following along. I thank you for subscribing and for watching my channel. And I'm, you know, glad to be back on the road. I know a lot of you like the travel stuff. And uh, so we'll be trying to get more stuff out. We're heading into season number eight. That will start after the new year here. Or after the 17th of December season eight starts. So, look for new content, look for new videos. I'll get them out when I can. Maybe not every week, but I'll try. A lot of times, signal just isn't any good out here in the desert or out there where I live, and I'm hoping to rectify that. I've been trying to work on a new system. So hang with us. And one more thing before I go back to the regularly scheduled ending of the video that I filmed. If you don't know down there below each video is a description of us and links to all of the sponsorships that I have and to our tea spring store where you can get stickers I don't have stickers with me anymore but you can get them there or whatever you'd like to uh, get or whatever you don't like to get whatever Anyway, all that's in the description below, and it's attached to every single video that I put out. So thanks for coming along, 
and I'm going to go back to the regularly scheduled video. Remember the 16th, the 17th, and 18th of December, Roadrunner BLM in Quartzsite, Arizona. I hope to see you there. I'd like to meet a whole bunch of new people and make some new friends. Come on by, will you? All right, bye-bye. So anyway, have a great day. Stay warm if you're uh, in cold climate and stay cool if you're in the warm climate. I'm in Arizona. It's cold here. All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.